Hey guys, welcome. Patch note alpha 3.21.1 says this. Ground radar sensitivity addition introduced radar ground sensitivity so different radars can see ground vehicles from different ranges this includes a full balance pass on ground vehicle emissions and also adds the ability for ground vehicles using missile operator mode to target lock other ground vehicles so in this video i am going to test only the first half of this new feature let's see at what range and what ship can detect different ground vehicles and tomorrow when the tumble storm aa got released we will test the other half which is ground vehicles missile can target lock and shoot other ground vehicles let's go all right so i have positioned these ground vehicles outside new babbage and i scattered them around in this area i have a tumble storm i have a stv i have a ballista i have a nova tank i have a cyclone mt and i also have a ursa rover for all these vehicles the engine shield and weapon all of them are on so first ship let's test with the m2 since we have the ship here so let's start this is perfect we also have the distance four kilometers a little bit more than four kilometers now so let's see the detection range and also these vehicles i think will be different if we have different weathers and different terrains so those will be very complicated to test so i'm just gonna test it on the ice of outside microtech it's also very beautiful and we have a nice sunset. I think the sun's already set. Yeah, but looks beautiful. At 2.5 kilometers, we detected a box. And right now at about a little bit over, let's say two kilometers, you can actually see them. See those little things. But uh, if, if you don't know, they are ground vehicles. They just look like rocks. 1.5. Oh, we detected something. Okay, stop here. We have detected, let's see what, 1.3 kilometers we detected the Ballista, the Nova Tank, Cyclone MT, and Ursa Rover. We can also detect the Tumble Storm. It's barely, it's uh, on and off Tumble Storm at 1.3 kilometers. The STV, there we go, detected at about 700 meters. Let's get another ship. Wow, there is just too many ships that we can do for this test. So how about this? For the rest of the video, I am going to choose the ship that I want to test. But if you have some other ships you want me to test, please leave in the comments below. I can make a part two video for this test. So let's go ahead with the next one, Aegis Eclipse. Aegis Eclipse. It's nighttime again. Oh. So ping detected, I think that's the ballista, about 2.1 kilometers. There we go, 1.1.2. Let me back up a little bit, okay. I detected three vehicles at 1.2 kilometers. This one, ballista, 1,183 meters. 1 1.2 kilometer detected the Nova tank. 1.18 kilometers detected the Ursa rover. 1.2 kilometers detect the Tumbro MT. Getting closer. There we go. 1.12 kilometers detected the Nova tank. As well as the Tumbro storm. And the STV not able to detect yet. Let's get even closer. There we go. About 620 meters detected the Greycat STV. Okay, so let's do a comparison for the Cutter and the Cutter Scout. Let's see if the radar on the Cutter Scout is really better than that on the Cutter. So let's do the Cutter first. Oh, I see a box about 2.2 kilometers. There we go. Stop. Detected some ships between 1.25 to 1.3 kilometers so i have detected the ballista tambor nova cyclone mt and ursa rover at 1.25 to 1.3 kilometers tambor storm has not been detected yet 
There we go. 1.15 kilometers detected the tumble storm. There we go. 620 meters detected the STV. Okay, the cutter scout. 2.4 ping detected a box. Oh, found something. At 1.6 kilometers, we detected the Ursa rover. Moving closer. At one point, gonna move a little bit closer to 1.4. At 1.48 kilometers, we detected the ballista. 1.46 kilometers detected the Cyclone MT. I am really surprised that the Cyclone MT can be detected before the Nova. Okay, moving closer. 1.37 kilometers detected the Tumble Storm. 1.3 kilometers detected the, the Nova Tank. Detected the STV at uh, 680 meters. The Cutter Scout is a bit better than the regular Cutter. Than than all the other ships that we tested so far. Okay, next ship is the Super Hornet. We're gonna compare the Super Hornet with the Hornet Tracker. Okay, at 2.2 kilometers, King detected a box. Okay, at uh, 1.2 to 1.25 kilometers, we detected the Ursa rover, Tumbro Nova, and the Ballista. And the Tumbro storm is detected at 1.15. STV is detected at 600 meters. Alright, this is the Hornet tracker. Let's see how well it tracks. Wow, 1.7 kilometers, there is no pink detection yet still no ping detection 1.3 there we go 1.34 kilometers we detected the cyclone mt wow how come the cyclone mt is the first vehicle to de get detected before the tumbler nova or the ballista so 1.34 kilometers, Tamro MT. And 1.27 kilometers is the Ballista. 1.26, Ursa Rover. And 1.2, Tamro Nova. Storm at 1.1. STV, about 600 meters. So the tracker tracks a little bit better than the Super Hornet, but uh, not as good as the Cutter Scout. Next ship, the Envo Terrapin. You know what we need? We need a good paint for the Envo Terrapin. The Terrapin, I don't think we ever had a paint for the ship yet. Okay, pink detection at 2.2 kilometers. Oh, there we go. Over 1.3 kilometers, we detected the Nova Tank and the Cyclone MT. Again, the Cyclone MT is also one of the first vehicle to get detected. And also the ballista got detected at 1.28 kilometers. 1.2 kilometers we detected the Ilsa rover and the storm is 1.16 kilometers. I'm surprised that the storm is a little bit more stealthy than the other vehicles except the STV. 600 meters is the STV. Alright so this is the Terrapin. It is a little bit better than the other ships. Okay, next ship is the A1 Spirit. Oh, pink detected something at 2.5 kilometers. There we go. Wow, 1.5 kilometers. We detected the Tang Pro Cyclone MT. I am surprised. First of all, how come the MT is the first ground vehicle to get detected? Second, this is better than the Cutter Scout. Okay, moving closer. Second vehicle is a Nova Tank detected at 1.36 kilometers. 
Oh, we detected, we detected Ballista at 1.31 and the Earth Rover at 1.36. And again, the Tambor Storm has not been detected yet. Let's move closer. There we go, 1.2 kilometers detect, detected the Tambor Storm. It's on and off. So 1.2 kilometers. STV at uh, 600 meters. Yes, the A1 proven to be so far the best ship to detect ground vehicles, even better than the Cutter Scout. I am very surprised. Let's try the C1. Wow, look at that, it's morning again. We worked the whole night and we're not even finished yet. Ping detection at 2.2. You don't see a box, but you see all these bubbles. Oh, what? 1.5. We detected, again, the Cyclone MT. This is almost the same as the A1. Let's move closer. Oh, we detected three more vehicles. The Ursa Rover, Tambor Nova, and the Ballista at uh, 1.4 kilometers. And again, the storm has not been detected yet. Moving closer. Detected the storm at 1.2 kilometers. So the C1 is actually a little bit better than the A1 in terms of detection range. But very, very similar, very close. STV, about 620 meters. Looks like the A1, oh! Looks like the A1 and C1 is a little bit better at detecting ground vehicles. Better than any other ships that we've tested so far. The next and last test for this video is a vertical test. I put three Tumbro Storm here. The first one, the furthest one, the Tumbro Storm, everything is on, shield, engine, and weapon is on. The second storm, only the weapon is on. And then third storm is completely off. All right, SRV, let's go. Okay, at two kilometers, I still don't have a ping detection. Oh, there we go. 1.2 kilometers. I detected the first tumble storm with the shield, weapon, and engine on. Oh, the second storm has been detected. About the same range, 1.2 kilometers. The engine and the shield's off. Only the weapon is on for the second tumble storm, the middle one. But the detection range is the same. The last one got detected at 1.14. And the last one is with everything off. Shield, engine, and weapon. So the detection range does not vary too much. But for the tumble storm, it's more stealthier than any other ground vehicles, I mean combat vehicles, except the STV. I have not tested the other vehicles yet, like the Spartan and the other vehicles. But the Tumbler Storm so far is uh, very stealthy among all the vehicles that I have tested. But the ground vehicle detection range has increased drastically. I remember before you have to get really close in order to detect a Ballista or a Ursa Rover, like 200 to 500 meters, that close. But right now, above one kilometer, you can basically detect the ground vehicle. This is something definitely changed. And this is it for this video. Like I said, if you want me to make a part two, let me know what ship and vehicle you want me to test it out. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. And let me know what you think about these results. And if you have any other thoughts, please leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.